Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Pup. We're here with the BBR Summer Scramble. This is the first game of pools. We were playing against a Muffin. Um, I will hope to have their stuff in the description, but we did play them in the GWA. Um, now we get to play them here in pools. I'm not going to have like a team recap. I'll, I will have a team builder going on for this. So you guys will kind of build up what mons I use because I use all of my Pokemon throughout the pools here. Um, and I, I played this game about a month ago. I really wanted to have some more time to put some more effort into this, but I have not found the time. I just wanted to get this out to you guys. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoy the BBR Summer Scramble stuff. It was a really fun tournament to take part of. And yeah, let's get right into it. Now, first of all, we can see the opponent's team over there. They have the Terra Captain on their Iron Moth, which is crazy. They also have a Latios. We're going to face two Latioses in pools as well. Um, and then the high tier Terra is just crazy. They have Weavile that's really annoying and a couple hazard setters with these shocks and the Tinkaton that's scary. I also definitely would see the Blastoise as either like a more defensive spinner type Mon or it's a good Shell Smash sweeper. So we're starting off with this Land OT with a Choice Scarf. We have enough defensive investment to make sure we eat an Ice Shard from the Weavile without Intimidate. Um, but that goes if they're not like Life Orb because I assume Heavy Duty Boots comes here. Uh, but this is my dedicated lead. It outspeeds a booster Sandy Shocks and can one-shot it with Earthquake. Um, it also should be able to one-shot a lot of Tinkatons, but we can also click Taunt into them if they are Air Balloon, uh, which is really the idea. We also have, you know, nice Stone Edge for the Braviary or the Latias there, and then U-Turn hits their team really hard as well. Um, it was really tough to find a lead for this battle just because there's nothing really that goes great into them all. Um, but I think this really maximizes our chances of not having hazards up on our side because that would really be killer with no boots coming this week. The second up we are bringing Primarina with the Rocky Helmet just because that Weavile is such a big threat to us and we have the Liquid Voice so we can spam Psychic Noise versus their team. It's actually really good to make sure they can't heal off anything, you know, make sure leftovers don't do anything. Um, and we are Encore on the set in case they want to SD, in case they want to set up hazards, Shell Smash, anything like that we can Encore them in. And we have Draining Kiss for a little bit of good recovery with the flip turn. And then, you know, just pretty much a max Fizz Def with just a little bit of Spadef to help us take on the Latias a little bit better. Although this isn't really super dedicated for taking on that Latias. In the third spot, we are bringing a Mirror Herb Lilligant. Uh, shout out to Zero from GWA because he always swears by this thing. And I think it'll be really good in this matchup into that Blastoise, especially if they uh, try setting up a Shell Smash. Then we'll get those boosts and we're able to one-shot it with Giga Drain afterwards and uh, we destroy them. You can even, you know, click Encore into a lot of guys on their team to make sure they don't set up or they aren't super annoying. Sleep Powder, you know, plus Quiver Dance. It's really all we need versus them because I'm assuming Moth is going to Terra. I think Terra Water is great into my team to counter my Landers. I also have my own Iron Moth, um, which I think they would want to try to counter. So Giga Drain, great move here, especially once, you know, potential Moth is terra and, uh, you know, one of Tinkaton or Latias is already put to sleep. Of course, I had to bring my boy Minior out to this game, too. Looks really solid if we can get Weavile out of the way. I uh, would just, you know, Shell Smash, Acro, Earthquake, and Substitute. There are plenty of things that we can freely Shell Smash on. You know, forcing switches on something like the Tinkaton um, that we might be able to knock out with Earthquake. Or the Sandy Shocks if we Encore them and, uh, you know, force some switches. They really don't like this Pokemon because I can take one hit from pretty much anything on their team and then be able to fire off a really, really strong Shell Smash. Smell Shash. Ugh, I can't even talk. Shell Smash a boosted Acro or EQ into their team. Obviously, I'm not expecting it to sweep with the priority options that they have with Ice Shard or Aqua Jet, even Fake Out on the Tinkaton. But I think it could be a really good wall breaker. Uh, to enable something like Landorus to be able to late game sweep with that Choice Scar or even Lilligant to go crazy. Next up, we are going to see My Moth. And we are a Choice Scarf variant. Thought about running booster speed, but I think Choice Scarf is just a little bit better. Try to, you know, maybe bait their Iron Moth. If they are not booster, they would think it's a speed tie. Same with Latias if they're not scarfed. Um, so I really want to, you know, catch those things off guard, hit it with Energy Ball or Dazzling Gleam to be able to knock those two things out because um, I am expecting the Terra Water. We also just, you know, outrun everything. Flamethrower is super free into them without that Blastoise or without the Moth around. 
Um, so just a really, really solid Mon. Simple max attack, max speed. And it really could come down to speed ties here, depending on if they are booster, if they are choice scarf on those Mons. Um, and hopefully we can win them because, you know, getting that energy ball off Flamethrower, Dazzling Lame would be super strong for our game plan here. Now, obviously, my team didn't seem as strong as theirs, but now you see the Urshifu single strike, which is very, very crazy. Um, we do have an Assault Vest variant on this set, so we can switch into the Latias um, decently well, even take a Draco or two. We can take hits from the Iron Moth earlier on in the game, and if we get a close or a Trailblaze boost or two, we can absolutely sweep their entire team. Um, Wicked Blow plus close combat is really all we need into them because it just does that much damage. Uh, we have, you know, a decent amount of attack and HP investment, some speed too, to make sure we're outrunning everything. But if we do see Scarf or Booster, like I do expect, we're gonna need two trailbla Trailblazes to sweep this game. Uh, really, this Mon is more used as sort of that Latias check because we can Sucker Punch or Wicked Blow. I do expect them to be Culberberry. But if we're able to chip that thing down, that's one of those huge threats that's out of the way. Um, really, we don't have that much to deal with Iron Moth, though, so it's going to have its way with us if we do not win a speed tie or get a really strong sucker punch off on it. But that is going to be the team for us. Hopefully, we're able to take down Muffin here in this one, but it's going to be a nice uphill battle for us. Maybe we can get a you know sweep with Lilligan or Minior going on here. But yeah, yeah we'll see. All right, we're connecting here to Muffin. They did bring just about everything scary. No shocks is really nice. I didn't expect the Verizion to come. I'm actually really surprised it did. Um, but they, they, they do have the Terra Water Moth, which is really scary. And Tinkaton is here, which means we should just lead Landorus. If they're Air Balloon, I can click Taunt uh, to prevent some hazards from going up in the Word Choice Scarf. So I think we just go for that. I'm super worried about the Moth. I don't have like a great actual answer to it on the team, which is uh, definitely scary. I really hope they don't have D-Gleam, because that would be annoying for me to try to use Urshifu on. Since we are Assault Vested, um, they do have the Blastoise, which I can take out with the Lilligan. It's not too, too bad. Yeah, I like this. I'm just going to lead with the Landorus and potentially just be able to knock out Tinkaton on the first turn. Potentially, you know. Um, I am a little bit worried about Latias, but, you know, as long as we don't let that thing set up, should be okay. A mini or looks great in this endgame. They do obviously have that Weavile with Ice Shard, so we have to play around that. But once that thing is gone, it absolutely 6 0s them. But good luck, have fun, 2 Muffin. Let's see, is it Nobara? It is that Tinkaton. Okay. Let's see, are you going to be Air Balloon? We get the Intimidate off. And they're gonna break the mold. All right, I think we're just gonna click Earthquake here, man. Because we are Choice Scarf, we do not want these rocks to go up. So I think I'm just gonna go for it, right? Yeah. Screw it, we're going for it. If they see that we're Choice Scarf on turn one, oh well. Their only switch is Latios. I guess technically they could go into Verizion if they're Fake Out. Interesting. Fake Out is a little bit weird. <laughs> fake Out feels odd. But they saw that we stayed in. So they might switch out here. But I'm just gonna go for the Earthquake. Fake Out on Tink, that's a little bit odd. As they are just uh, Shuckaberry. Makes sense. So we do a ton of damage to them. And they're probably going to get their rocks up. Yep. So unfortunate there. But it is what it is. I don't mind it too much. I mean, it's annoying. Because we didn't bring boots on anything. Because I am a boots hater. But, you know. It is what it is. We're just going to EQ here. They could easily go Latias. And then... I probably just have a pivot to maybe Urshifu. So like they could make that aggressive pivot, but we'll see as they do. Okay. Yeah, Dragon Pilot, that's the Latias. 
Definitely worried about some sort of Calm Mind variant, um, but it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Let's see. If they're like a potential Choice Scarf set, we could go like hard Urshifu, but Draco is hurting me here. Hmm. Yeah, but I mean, if we end up getting to plus one, we're in a pretty good spot. I guess Verizion could be their Urshifu, like, little check, potentially, with Justified, to be able to switch in on that thing, uh, potentially be Choice Scarfed. So yeah, that's a little interesting to think about. I will go hard Urshifu here, though. I think that's kind of a crazy play, but I'm going for it. So let's see what it's going to be. This is going to be Mist Ball. Okay, so we made the good play there. And I think what we do is we just go for Trailblaze here. Because we could easily, we could blow, we could Sucker Punch. But I think they're going to go Verizion and then Trailblaze into Close Combat should knock that thing out. So I think that's their play. So just go Verizion, get that Justified boost and be super scary. I really don't think that they're going to stay in here. When we could potentially be Scarf, we could potentially just Sucker Punch them into Oblivion. Let's see, what's it gonna be, man? What is it gonna be? So they just drop a Draco. I mean, we're gonna eat it. We know they're not Scarfed. As we get that Trailblaze off, it's doing literally nothing. Um, but we are plus one at this point. And we're, in our, we're actually in a really decent spot where I can just throw off Wicked Blow, I think. Potentially just claim one. If they're not Scarf Verizion, then we're fine. Scarf Verizion is very scary, though. Yeah, because if they're plus one, plus one. I mean, we do have the Scarf Moth in the back that's able to revenge kill that thing but it just is really scary probably just gets a free kill on me but not without taking a lot of damage you know they do know at this point that I am AV we took a lot of damage to that it took like 200 damage as their chopple I mean not chopple Colber uh, and they just barely hang on. Are they gonna knock me out though? I'm not sure if they do. They're gonna drop another Draco. But yeah, we live on 12. That's great. That's totally fine. And we're obviously like susceptible to Weavile ice sharding us. So I'm just gonna close combat in case they wanna switch out. In case they wanna get a little bit aggressive and save this Latias. Let's see, Draco Meteor twice. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is Soul Dew. Eh, it might not be. Because that, it would have definitely killed me over two if they're a max attack Soul Dew. So I don't know. If they're just, if they're not Soul Dew. Yeah, then I guess after Rocks that makes sense. After Rocks, it would be like a 20% chance that two KO'd me. As they do withdraw. Okay. Potential Verizion coming out here. No, they're just gonna sack off the tank. Okay. And that makes sense. Yep, so Tinkaton is super dead. So if Weavile wants to click Ice Shard versus me, I can actually get a Sucker Punch off since I am faster now with the Trailblaze. It's kind of like a 50-50 of what what do I want to do? Do I, wanna let, do I want to let them get a sword stance up? It's really not the end of the world because we have Scarf Moth. So I think I will just go for Sucker. Over there, Ice Shard. As they're fake out on this thing as well. Fake out Weavile. 
Wow. Super, super interesting. I mean, I could have, you know, obviously uh, survived or like went out to Primarina, survive it, but that's fine. Um, I could choose to go offensive or defensive and I'm gonna go defensive to start this off. We're just gonna go to my Prim, which is the answer for this thing. So Draining Kiss does a million percent to them. They actually don't have a great switch in to Draining Kiss. So I think I'm just gonna go straight up for Draining Kiss. That's their poison jab, okay. We're max Fizz Def, Rocky Helmet, you know. And we are gonna get almost all of my health back right here. That's so great. That is awesome. Um, we are just gonna go for one more Draining Kiss. Because if they sack this thing off, then Minior looks great if it gets an opportunity to set up. Potentially even in front of like a Latios or Latias. Yep, they're just gonna give it to me. Totally fine with that. Gonna get the poison. It's not the end of the world. I think. But the Rocky Helmet, a little bit more chip on them is a little unfortunate for uh, that draining kiss health. Especially we get a crit here, but not before. Oh well. But yeah, if we uh, ever get Minior out in front of Latias, I can actually just, you know, eat up a Draco and go for Shell Smash. Draco does 50%. Even a Mineral will bring me right down. Perfect EV spread, I guess. As they're gonna go out to that Latias. So if they wanna kill me here, I'm actually totally fine with that, man. Um, but they could potentially be Recover, so I'm going to click Encore. Just in case. You know, I don't really care that much about the health on this thing. So either they knock me out or they're Encored into this. And if they're Encored into it, I can just flip turn and potentially go Mini and set up and sweep. So let's see what you want to do. I don't know if they're actually going to be um, B recover on this set or even call mine or anything. No, they're just going to be energy ball. Okay, so we saw mist ball, mist ball, energy ball, and Draco meteor. I think we just go mini or here because we should live no matter what, even after rocks. Oh, well, okay. Let me just like calc max of attack. It does look like we live. So we're gonna go mini or here. And get that shields down. And from what I'm looking at here, like max of attack, we should live. Now, if they are Mirror Herb on something, that is very, very scary, and it could come to bite me in the butt. Yeah, potentially even, like, Mirror Herb on this thing is super scary. Because I don't know if I have any priority in the back, because Urshifu's gone. Oh, no, they were, uh, they were Culber. We're fine versus this thing. A Blastoise is scary, though. But what I'm reading here from the calcs is that um, Max Latias can do 223 to me with Draco in my Meteor form. Yep, we live that. And we are going to be down to our core form, plus two, plus two, plus two. And the game might just be over at this point. No item? Acrobatics versus them? What do they do? I mean, potentially a, uh, a physically defensive Blastoise. But if they don't have too much defense, then we just knock them out with Acro. Uh, I guess they could have Jet. They could definitely have Jet. Okay, so we're just gonna click Acro here. We're gonna claim one. So Minior gets that Latias. We'll take it for sure. Um, but Blastoise, if they have the Aqua Jet, obviously is fine. As they do go Mr. Toys. 
Man, do they really have Fake Out, Fake Out plus Aqua Jet? Who knows? We're just gonna go for Acro here. This should do a lot. They survive just barely and they flip turn. All right. So, I mean, that thing is super, super dead. <laughs> Um, I am playing myself into a spot where their moth is super duper scary though. Yeah, I mean, I have a Lilligan. I do have Lando, so if they're not Scarfed, um, we're fine. And actually, Landorus clicking Earthquake is insane versus their team right now. Um, they do obviously have Verizion. That would want to come in. But we can pivot around. What's that going to be? It's going to be the Verizion. So I could either go my Iron Moth here on Verizion, which just misses out on a kill with Flamethrower, or I can go Lilligant, who can click Quiver Dance. Um, if they want a Sword Dance or something, we can Encore them. But if they just attack me, we're not really in the best of spots. I'd also go Landorus and lower their attack and just click U-turn. Potentially go out to the Moth. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Eh, I don't want to show that I'm Scarf though. Hmm. Yeah, but I kind of need the Scarf Moth, don't I? I kind of need it for this Mon, I guess. So we're going to go Moth. We don't quite knock them out unfortunately, but it's going to put them in EQ range. So I'm going to click flamethrower here. This thing might potentially be Scarf, but we'll outrun them anyways. I also could have clicked U-turn here, but that only really helps us if they go out to Moth. This is just a really tight end game. And I'm assuming they're probably going to be Booster Speed Moth, so, I mean, this is tough. Ah, yeah, they're probably going Hard Moth. Oh, they go Sack the Blastoise, okay. That's fine. We're going to get that Flamethrower off, knock it out. But their Moth might just sweep me here. I don't know if they're going to be Booster. They do go Mothra. We need some chip on this thing. Because they are booster. Are they booster speed or booster attack? They are booster speed. Alright, that is super duper duper scary. <laughs> I might just have to sack Lilligan here, right? I think I'm going to go Lilligan and attempt to get a Sleep Powder off. I mean, this is just very, very scary. I might just actually go for Encore versus them so they can't set up like a substitute versus me. As they do just go for Terra Water straight up. But Fiery Dance destroys me. I mean, I could hope for like a potential miss. But if they sub up here, then I'm in a really bad spot. Because they just Terra Blast. Let's see how much this does. Should do about 90. Yeah, just about. Um, I guess maybe my play is on Fiery Dance. Go out to Iron Moth. And then I have to win a Speed Tie, hit it with Energy Ball. Yeah, it's not going to do it. How much does Lando take from Terra Blast? It's too much. Yeah, the game's going to be over. My win con might be going out to Iron Moth and U-Turning, winning that speed tie, and then winning another speed tie with Energy Ball. All right. Yeah, I think that might have to be my win con here 
because they absolutely just destroy me. As they're gonna sludge wave. That's okay. Oh, well, now we can't live one. <laughs> that was a, an incredibly high roll. I guess we just have to go for the energy ball, speed time, maybe crit, as they're just gonna get it. Yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> We're gonna drop this game 2-0 to Muffin. Unfortunately, we have no way to be able to deal with this moth. And I knew going into it that it was gonna be tough to deal with it. Um, but I I did sack my Urshifu early. I really uh, overplayed around them. I mean, not really, but kind of. Um, we're just gonna click U-turn here. I know that they're max speed, so they're just gonna Terror Blast and knock me out. Um, a good game to Muffin Man. Potentially had outs there. Um, if they got like a lower roll on the Sludge Wave. Um, because they got actually like a pretty decent roll. Let's see. Yeah. They actually got a, a complete max roll on that Sludge Wave. If they got something a little bit lower, um, we could have had another switch into Rock. So U turn plus an Energy Ball might have been able to take them out. Which is what I really had to play around. But yeah, they made a good play sacking the, the Blastoise. I shouldn't have let them get this Iron Moth in for free. But yeah, just good game. Good game all around. We lose 2-0. Good game to Muffin. I uh, get some revenge for me uh, destroying them with Terragrass Ogre Pond. But yeah, that's about it. If you guys did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like and sub. See you guys in the next one. Peace.